Hey, Bob. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing. Good. Just out and about. Huh? Out and about picking up cans. How are you picking up cans? Picking up cans. Right. Well, you get quite a few around. I'm, I like your wheels. I got a bag I carry. Too. This is like yours, isn't it? Huh? This is like your scooter, isn't it? Victory? Like what? Isn't this scooter like yours? Yeah. I thought it was. Right. You been doing all right? Yeah. How's your leg doing? Ain't doing too good. I just can't hold it. I walked in here and walked, got my coffee. By the time I got back out here, I can't hold it much. I can't hold it. Boy, it's hurting me. Hurt you want me to get you a cart? Huh? You want me to get you a cart? So when you go to your car? Oh. Yeah, all right. I'll be all right. I'll be all right, Spence. All right, Pops. You let me know, man. All right. Have a good day. Yeah, I gotta go to Bellevue. I don't know where to get a good tire because I got a low profile tire. So I gotta go like to Bellevue and change my tire out on my car. All right. Ugh. Okay. All right. I found a a, a vice. You know what a vice is? Yeah. We had one work been a big one. Yeah. I couldn't hardly pick it up. It's laying in the middle of the road. And it looked brand new. Where is it at? It's at my house now. Oh, you carried it out? Yeah, I laid it up here and got it to the house and, and uh huh. uh it's bigger I've got one, but it's bigger than that one I got. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go get me a cup of coffee. I ain't had none yet. On this side. Meeting the traffic. Meeting the traffic. Meeting the Yeah, I don't go back that way. I go back this way to get home. Cause I, 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 you know, it's got that little pavement on the side of the road there, and I, it's just enough space for this to go without interfering with traffic. Or right, on 25th? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, li I don't like doing it. Right. But in the neighborhood, you know, I don't have a problem. Right. Whose dog? That, there he come. No. He just walked in. He tied him. Yeah. Tied him off there. What's the matter, buddy? Oh, my. I wonder if it's gonna be hot again today. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Boy, it was warm yesterday. Right. You know that fella that comes out here a lot? He's a, he's a Vietnam vet. Black guy. Sam? Yeah, Sam, that's his name. I haven't seen him lately. Yeah, he's usually up here around. 
Around 10 o'clock. Yeah, what? And I, most time, most time I don't get up here this early. Oh, I, I generally get in here early. Oh, my. I tend to try to get in about, about almost 720, 730. Yeah. When did, when did the state start making you have to have a special license to drive a motorcycle? I don't know. I never had, I, I never had to do that. But that, that's a long time back though. Oh, uh, a long time back. Uh, I mean, I used to ride them, and not that that you didn't. Right. All you had to have was a driver's license. Now they say you got to go take a test on one. Right. Right. That's due to the fact that so many kids learning how to ride. Yeah. Getting out in it in the traffic. Uh, I think that's because of uh, ain't no difference in riding a bicycle. Uh, it ain't no difference in riding a bicycle. Right. I mean, a motorcycle's heavier. And, and faster. Yeah, a lot faster. All right. Boy, my street over there. It was like a racetrack at times. Yeah, I see some of these people hitting the road with them things, and and and, and I've seen a few of them eat some eat some asphalt too. Yeah. Boy, you you have a wreck on one of them things, you ain't got that protection around you like you do a car. Right. I've had one wreck in my life and that was on the motorcycle. But I've been riding a motorcycle since 1937. That's when I bought my first one, a 1928 model. What was it? Harley Davidson. <laughs> I've been riding all my life. I never had an accident in the car, the truck, or anything. And I've been driving all my life, you know. And never had but the one accident, and that was on the motorcycle. And that was in 63, 1960. You was riding back back when you had you didn't push a button and start it. You had to kick that thing. Right. Boy, I tell you what. Time. Quite a few years. Yeah. Before I had started. I had one in my life that I had to kick start, and it was a Harley. And boy, I'm gonna tell you what, something was something was wrong with it. Right. And it would take you forever to get that thing. I'd be sitting there trying to start that thing, sweat dripping off. <laughs> oh, I was trying to do that thing. Good morning. Uh, I had that one one wreck. And I was dead for two months. Dead. Artificial respiration in a coma. I never seen the light, never seen the inside of the hospital, never seen a light or uh, in anything for two solid months. Have a good day there, neighbor. And uh, never seen the outside of the hospital. Then they brought me to a nursing home here and I was there for four months. I came to the next day or two and I didn't know what had happened. What's wrong with me? Where am I at? What's going on? What's the matter with me? I couldn't move, not my shoulders. That's what wrong with my leg. This leg has got a, another man's bone in it. A steel rod all the way down the leg. I had four long screws like that in through here. 
two of them came loose and so they took two out after it had healed up. And I got, I don't know how many more, little ones. Up here on the top here, I got a figure eight of wire. A figure eight of wire holding the muscles and ligaments together. Oh, and it's been broke here and here. A steel rod on top of my skin. Uh, uh, not a rod, a, a, a flat one on my skin. My foot has been squashed. Mm -hmm. I can't bend it no more than that right there. That's what I can bend that foot. But I thank the Lord every day, every morning, every day. Yeah. Yeah. Where, uh, in World War II, where was you at in World War II? Huh? Where was you at in World War II? I was stationed right here at Camp Blanding at the start. Camp Blanding? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm blind in my left eye from birth. Yeah. All my life. Never seen but with one eye. I tried to enlist and they wouldn't accept me. And then draft board called me up and turned me down. But I went ahead and got married then. And then, no sooner than I get married, it wasn't but a short time, two or three months, they called me up again, said, we need you here. We gotta have people here to serve, to make stuff to send overseas. And said, we, we, we got to have a, a lot of people here, as well as overseas. You have a good day, then. <coughs> uh, so this, you <coughs> so they brought me in in the service and station, and I got happened to just lucky I got stationed at start, and, and that's when I. That's where I made mine. But now, I've been all over the world. I've been, I was a year over in Vietnam. Uh, in 66 and 67, I was over there uh, with the Air Force. And I've been, you keep, count them. I've been to Alaska. I've been to Hawaii twice. I've been to I've been to uh, uh, Belgium, Holland, uh, I've been to China, I've been to Vietnam, I've been to the Philippines, I've been to uh, Did you ever go to Germany? Been to Germany. France. France, England. I've been all over. I've been more places than the average ten people put together have been. I've I haven't been to that many places. I've been, you know, I, I was stationed in Germany, and uh, then I was uh, I was in England, and um, it's, and I, of course when I was over there, I I was doing some. I take leave and like go to France. I went to Italy. Um, and like a dumb idiot, uh, before the Berlin Wall went up, I took, I took a tour to Russia for 14 days, and that was the stupidest thing I ever done in my life because you couldn't go nowhere you had to follow the two you couldn't venture out amongst the people or anything you right. couldn't go nowhere you just and that was right in the line. yeah that was four hundred and nineteen dollars for that tour and that was four hundred and nineteen dollars was five months pay for me <sighs> stupid well I I've seen a lot of countries. And I'd like to see a lot more. I, 
I'd like to get, I'd like, I wish I could take one of them train trips across the country and back. And be able to stop, afford to stop and do tours on the way and stuff like that, but. I've been in the trucking business running all over the United States. All of them. I haul produce for Publix. For Publix? For Publix. I haul, I'd, I'd load in South Florida, carry it to California, produce. Unload it and load out there produce, bring it right back to the public warehouse in Lakeland. <laughs> but it was just different stuff. And some of it was the same damn same thing. I, I would tear some oranges out there and bring some oranges back. <laughs> that, that would seem like it was foolish yeah. in a way. But some people, if it's got Carolina, I mean, uh, California, if it says California, they go and buy it because it comes from California. And a lot of people will do that. A lot of these women and stuff that buy the groceries all, you know. And of course, they have a lot of stuff out there that we didn't have here. At, at particular times, you know, we had stuff that they didn't have. Yeah. And at times, they had stuff that we didn't have. Well, I guess if I don't go, I won't get there. Do what? If I don't go, I won't get there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you don't go, you won't get there. That's the darn sure. I got some people redoing the house there for me. Yeah, what are they doing? Huh? What are they doing? I say I got some people redoing my house over there. Okay. Yeah, they, they just painted the inside of it yesterday. And they put the tile down, uh, this tile down and all of it. Yeah. And uh, they got, and they, they painted the whole inside of the house. All up there, everything. Uh, and now, they're going to put in a new uh, cabinet, new countertop, and all. Another stove. I, I need a washing and dryer to go in the house. I need to find me a good washing and dryer. How will you be your next birthday? Huh? How will you be your next birthday? 99. Oh, yeah. Yep, you've seen a lot. Yes, sir. You have seen a lot. I guess you remember when old Cal was just a little old town. Yes, sir, I sure do. Boy, I, I, I tell you what, I moved to Marion County in 1979. Okay. And out there on 200, there wasn't nothing out there. I was. It just, it's unreal, you know, and that, and and that old, the the Army Airport where that was at? Yeah, right there. On the yeah. I, right I, there in town. Yeah, that was out of town back back in World War II. That was out of town. Right, yeah, it was out of town. I had a, F before I went in the Army, they had a, Army had a, damn. Boy, that truck right the back to the back car. Just about, didn't it? Uh, that Air Force had a training school out there, right there. Mm -hmm. It was right there where uh, if you go if you're going out 200 off of Pine Street, you go over there over the path and go down where 17. I think it's 17th Street and runs across it. That's after you go over the overpass on 200, that's, that's the first traffic light. 
right off to the left. From there was the edge of the airport. <laughs> yeah. And, and back then they had this uh, the oh steerman plane, and you had to crank it by the prop, take the prop. Mm-hmm. That's to crank. It. I got a job there cranking those props, cranking those uh, steerman. <laughs> that was. Do you remember what year they tore down that the old courthouse? I don't remember what year it was. No, I can't remember. My dad was custodian at the courthouse there for years. But uh, the old the owner square there? Yeah. My dad was custodian there for years. <laughs> you got any brothers and sisters? Huh? You have any brothers and sisters? Not left. I ain't got nobody. How many did you have? I had three sisters and one brother. And you've outlived them all. Right. You know what? That's something I hate about, I mean, I want to be able to, I would love to make it to your age. But the problem with get, getting older, you start losing people and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, right. it, you, you're going to start. Like I had four, I had, there was three other cousins in me. It was four of right. us. My cousins, some of my cousins, there was four of us that we hung out together all the time. We did everything together. Right. And now, out of that four, I'm the only one left. Right. You know, and, and, and that bothers me. Right. And, and my cousin's kids, they keep wanting me to tell them stuff that we did and everything. And I said, well, I can tell you some of the stuff we did, but some of it I ain't gonna tell you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we was we were tight, boy. We were. It, 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 it you lose people. And I, I, that's the only thing I hate about life. You just start losing people. All the people that I come up with and everything is all gone. Just about all of them. I don't. I don't know it. Ain't none my age. None know it. I got. I got a. I got a couple of nephews. That's. Up. One of them, one of them, I think he just turned 80. Uh, uh, and another one that's 70 something. Uh, shit, that's, that's all. And I got one son. And he's 60. <laughs> he, he's, he's 60. 60. Well, he, he's right now an old man. <laughs> huh? He's right now an old man. Right. Oh. I'd like to see 60 again. Right. And, oh. He's got a big 18-wheeler. And he's on the road all the time. Good morning. How you doing this morning? You just got to want to see. Uh-oh. Sit down here and have a seat. <laughs> How you doing? I'm in trouble now. Bob, I'm going to go get me another cup of coffee, and i got to get some shopping done. Take that in with you. I'll do her. I don't want no more. Thank you, buddy. I'll see you later, man. All right. It's been a pleasure. Well, I'll talk with you. What's oh. wrong? Oh, I got to. You better turn it on, and it'll go. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, I don't know why, it does that when I sit, sit around there a little bit. Uh, Have a good one, buddy. Right. You too, sir. You too. Oh, hot enough for you? I love talking to Bob. He's gonna be 99, 99 years old. Linda, customer service, please. Linda Bird, customer service.
boys, if I could make it to that age, that means I could see my, what in the world, I need to, Love talking to Bob. He's had a full life. Had a full life. He told me a while back, he said, he was ready to go. Said he had a good life and he was ready to go. Now, how am I going to do this? Put these back here. GoPro start recording. Right. Well, like I said the other day, it is Wow, just about an everyday occurrence. Wow. Afternoon storms. I like the storms, you know, I like to watch them and listen to them and stuff, but that lightning, it gets pretty scary. This time of year though, right here in Central Florida, this is just about an every day occurrence. You can just about bank on it. And boy is it It's coming up one and you know what? It'll probably blow over. This one looks like it might last more than a few minutes, so this one might be an hour or two. Yep. <laughs> I ain't had my fish, today's Friday, it's fish day at Publix, and I don't guess I'm gonna get to go. Not on it doing like this. I remember back when I was just a kid and at grandma's, my grandma Pearson, she was a Seventh day Adventist. When it comes storms like this, she shut any cat thing that was off that was on and she made us sit in a chair or something she wouldn't even let us sit by the window she said this is the Lord's work well, and 
you be quiet and you be still that's what she was saying and you did what grandma told you to do most of the time Most of the time. She was she was a devout Christian woman. She was a Seventh-day Adventist. And she uh boy it's coming this way. Looks like it's coming from it's coming from The north is coming from the north, moving to the south. My camera's pointed towards the north. That's my friend Mickey's. We'll stay out here. It's starting to blow in here on me. Yep. And it's pretty common to lose power.